first run. At Ortonville, Brandon, the Blackhawks have been treading water around 500 for a couple of years now, and they're ready to change all that. Last year, they ended up in the middle of the pack after a 4-5 and five season, but they ended the year on a high note, winning their last two games. Players and coaches feel like this is the year the Blackhawks make their move and become one of the state's elite programs. Being optimistic, I think we can compete uh, at the top of our, of our league. Yeah. You know, like I said, we've been in the middle of the road for the last couple of years, and we're fighting to um, get back to the top. Mm -hmm. And um, again, we've got a lot of kids back this year, so we're very hopeful. The reason we had a couple of close games, we'd come out, we'd be ready, we'd be focused, we'd be energetic, and then something would happen and we just lose all our energy. Mm -hmm. So this year, that's something that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. We got, uh, we got a lot of returning uh, starters, you know, we got eight or nine. And, uh, you know, we, we are already unified because we played together last year. Mm. And so I think the younger kids that have come up see that and then they want to attach and want to stay together as a team also. The Blackhawks start the season off with one of their most difficult games of the year as they take on Goodrich on the road before hosting back to back games. In the middle of the season, games against Fenton and Flushing loom large in weeks four and seven. Then they finish out the year against Kersley and Holly.